Hello. Uh, excuse the red face. I have been outside uh, throughout the day as much as I can, and uh, it's fairly warm. Um, it's cooled off, of course, as, uh, you know, evening uh, happens and all that. Uh, but uh, anyway, you know, months ago, uh, I made a video about how, uh, uh, when it comes to indie films, um, at this point in time, uh, if you do not have any kind of major following, you can't, you know, get your film off the ground. And, you know, uh, uh, I really stand by that video. I, I still uh, uh, believe what I said was accurate. And uh, I have not really... <laughs> It wasn't that many months ago, but I still haven't seen anything in the time I made that video earlier this year to now that really uh, makes me think things are changing in that direction. I mean, I know, I think it was like four or five months ago, oh, and six months, but regardless, you know, it, uh, regardless of all that, um, of the time. You know, sometimes people are like, well, you know, what seems like a short amount of time, oh, some things will change. Or at least I've seen some people say that, some people like on LinkedIn, and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, when it comes to <clears throat> indie films, um, really, uh, it's... Yeah, if you, if you do not have a big enough following... Like on YouTube, for instance, uh, <clears throat> I would never think about ever having any kind of uh, crowdfunding campaign for a film uh, with under a thousand subscribers. Uh, I mean, I like the amount of subscribers I have right now, you know, over 400. And granted, by this point, having this my channel for over a decade, and the various videos I have, you know, on one hand, you might think I would be closer to that, but, but again, for many years, I didn't really do anything with my channel, and so that's all on hand my fault. Though, of course, I was a teenager when I opened my account, so I didn't really have a clue what I really wanted to do. I mean, I had some videos and stuff, poorly made videos, which are all private, and uh, probably should always remain that way, and never, uh, be seen by anybody because of how terrible they are, but, you know, uh, before I began to try to do something and found, uh, an interest that I could be like, you know, I could just do this and keep up with it, and I've been thinking about other things that I want to do to try and expand, but, you know, talking about movies and that kind of thing is, uh, pretty big and I think I should all like uh, have my channel be primarily movie based to some extent um uh, but you know when it comes to stuff like uh making a film and stuff you know early on I made stuff but I was in the process of writing a bunch of things and so one thing I thought I would make first you know it's like well, that became way bigger, and it's like, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Whatever kind of reasonable budget for a first-time film, it's like, yeah, no, that couldn't possibly be done. Like, there's just no way with the amount of stuff going on. It's just like, no. And, you know, it takes a while until you can find something uh, that's fairly manageable, you know, for a first movie. And, you know, I've got a script, and I'm still writing a bunch of things, like, books and have other ideas for movies which after this next book I'll probably uh, take a halt on writing books I don't know if I will uh, you know never say never regarding a bunch of things so I'm not going to say I will never write another book after this but the time being I have no real ideas after this of what I'd like to see a, uh, or be made for a book first so with that in mind, you know, I'm, uh, you know, looking for some people to uh, talk to and 
see about uh, what all they do for films and stuff and you know see about any kind of tips about uh, what 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 I can do to try and you know expand my audience and everything um, as well as also just to pose the question like a if I ever did uh, do a Kickstarter at some point, or like a or an Indiegogo campaign or whatever for like a film, what kind of uh, uh, things would you think would be very suitable for? Like if somebody uh, donates a certain amount, what what do you think would be uh, great offers? I mean, I think like for like about twenty bucks or so, a Blu-ray <clears throat> would be fairly reasonable of course that would have to be after the movie is complete obviously and uh, I would like the uh, the film to be able to be in theaters too um, if it's just a local thing you know I mean I'd like to be at least a national thing across America but uh, sometimes you just gotta do what you can and all that when it comes to releasing stuff but of course, you know, that will uh, come <clears throat> whenever it does, like whenever that all is done and finished, because quite honestly, the movie, for what it is, and uh, considering this is not a pitch for getting people to try to donate, so I'm not really going to say much about the plot, um, but I will just say it takes place in very few places. Um, obviously, I would need money for certain places to film in like certain locations like one uh, location's a bar another is a restaurant and so obviously definitely need a good amount of money you know it's one thing you can save up money but sometimes you know things happen and you out of nowhere when you think you have enough something occurs in life that you could have never uh, thought of and so that money you are going to uh, use for the movie, well, now that's used for something else that is basically more important uh, and immediate in your life. So something like that would be very good to ensure. Because, you know, even though I've thought about, like, the scenes and there's... Uh, I've got the script down to, like, 100 pages, <clears throat> which is probably a good thing. Um, I, I believe I mentioned in the last video, but, you know, uh, on this months ago, but, you know, uh, the fewer locations, you know, the, then the, the uh, that's probably a good thing because you don't have to spend a bunch of money or try to make some sort of deals where if you couldn't pay people, it's like, well, on the back end or whatever, we'll give you this amount of money of the percentage of like box office whatever receipts or home video or something like that you know try to make some sort of deal um and uh things like that you know you, uh, if the film is able to be released in theaters you know uh, there's no guarantee it will be a financial success of course you know if it makes if it was made for pretty much nothing and it makes something and you made a profit but still uh you know it'd be better to not try to make some sort of deals of certain percentages of things like of, of figures of what may not happen because you know obviously you know you want to be optimistic and hope for the best but at the same time it's good to be realistic in that your movie may not be the most successful thing at the time um, and movie theaters are being more and more, uh, uh, gone to, you know, July is here and, you know, Oppenheimer's coming out and I'm going to see that <clears throat> in IMAX. Um, there are people who are talking about Barbie. I don't think I will see that, but that's me. Uh, if you are fantastic. Um, but you know, so I think for me, uh, looking to see, uh, a theatrical release for my small indie film uh, hopefully sometime in the future would not be out of the question at all I, like it, my options would not be limited to 
making DVDs, Blu-rays, selling those uh, wherever, like online and stuff. And then, of course, people who back the film. Uh, if you donate a certain amount uh, of like certain like tiers or whatever, um, you'd be able to get something in return, obviously. Like maybe posters. Uh, of course, Blu-rays and other things. and Obviously, videos like, thank you for donating, you know, to the movie and such, you know, and uh, 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 maybe thanking certain people in, in the credits, like special thanks. If, you, if people uh, donate a certain amount, you know, it's just like, you know, stuff like that that I do have sort of ideas for because I've looked at other people's campaigns you can still see that have been you know um, completed uh, yeah, and you just uh, can look at those and but you know if there's anything that you all might be watching this might have an idea of what would be cool uh, if I ever did that at some point because again you know I mean I have over 400 uh, subscribers right now um, but yeah I mean if everyone like donate like 20 bucks you know that would be uh, over 400 people it's 20 yeah I mean be able to get some thousands of dollars uh, from that just alone but you know I'm trying to do math in my head and it's a little later so it's not <laughs> completely computing but you know I could probably like if I was able to do it now and say everybody who subscribed did that yeah I'd be able to get a, some thousands of dollars and might be able to get some kind of new equipment also to help with the production that way, you know, it looks even more professional than just like with a phone. You know, nothing against using phones. I know there are people who do that, make films with their phones, and it's very, you know, <clears throat> uh, uh, it could be very well done, you know, depending on who does it. Uh, but it might be also nice to have other things like proper microphones and such, and other things like lighting, you know. Trying to diffuse lights and stuff. Though, of course, you can always be creative with uh, regarding that. But, you know, it'd be just nice to be able to have more uh, than maybe like a little under $10,000. That way, it's like, you know, you can make more. Or if you're able to get more, you can then do more. <clears throat> um, and, of course, I don't want to do a crazy amount. Um, but... I give the film, you know, it's a pretty simple story. You know, it's a pretty good sort of thing from beginning to end. Nothing too complicated. Um, um, there will be some drug use in, at times. So I guess to make up fake drugs and such. Uh, like for like meth, I know on Breaking Bad they used rock candy. So I guess for that kind of drug that could work. And, uh, Try to think of other ways to do some of the other things uh, of drugs and stuff that would be in the script. Um, and in some cases, you might be able to might be able to just sort of like remove certain things because um, I've already thought of ideas of what could happen if some locations we couldn't uh, go to, like um, some places might be pretty good as well. Uh, because I want to just try to be in mind whenever I do it. Like, maybe some things aren't going to be available. Um, or if, if they are, time will be so limited. It might might as well just do this or that here and there. That way, you know, you've done it. You, you got the overall scene done. It just wasn't in the, re the location that was in the script and what you thought. Um, and I was just curious what what you all would think. You know, what would you uh, uh, be interested regarding like crowdfunding and stuff? 
like ideas, you know, beyond the preps, the normal kind of stuff of posters, Blu-rays, special thanks, and videos of thanking people. <clears throat> um, you know, it's just like, you know, you, you want to try and be sort of unique that way, even if perhaps the s overall simple synopsis of the overall film's plot may not be immediately, uh, might not uh, initially grab people, at least what you're offering in terms of um, what you can uh, get uh, if you donate a certain amount, that could draw people too. Um, I, I just want to uh, hear what you all have to say. Um, I know years ago I helped with a campaign thing with uh, friends and stuff. And, uh, you know, and for the most part, that film was able to get shot. It's just uh, hasn't come out because the directors, you know, a lot of things happen behind the scenes. Um, you know, just a lot of stuff. And uh, it's, it's one of those things where it's probably not my place to talk because, you know, I wasn't there every day. I was there when I was needed to show up and act and or help set things up for scenes and just uh, help out uh, when I was needed. So, you know, I wasn't there all the time. I can't really, so I don't think it's necessarily in my place to say what I do know about that film, but the making of it from behind the scenes, but you know, for the stuff that I wasn't there for and everything. <clears throat> so, I want to, uh, if I was to do that, I, w I want to do it right. I want to have enough people engaged with what I've already been doing, like talking about movies and things of that sort. That way, you know, it's not just random and it's out of nowhere, you know. Uh, me just kind of coming out with hey here's the script and all that here's my pitch and I hope you'll be able to donate and if not just share this video and because you know sometimes you know you share as much as you can and sometimes that's just not enough like I did with that campaign for them um, you know shared everywhere I could every so often not every day because I didn't want to completely annoy everybody but like at least once a week for a while uh to try and get some sort of a traction and that didn't exactly work i mean they were able to get uh financing from some people locally but um and i've looked into doing that but uh, fortunately uh the people that did that seem to be very interested in like certain genres of films which is fine and but my genre is of that of my film is is drama it's not um uh very specific in that uh like horror or um <clears throat> you know anything like else you know mine's just drama my film really is just drama um not much humor. Uh, maybe there's like some moments where people could chuckle, but uh, not for the most part. You know, it's pretty dramatic. And I hope, uh, you know, I hope that's uh, probably understood. You know, I know some people aren't totally into the whole full on drama stuff. They don't like, they might like to watch it, but they don't want to make it. And so on one hand, that's kind of, that's both understandable, but also frustrating, especially when there's people in my state who are like, we're all for helping people. And then you go to try to get them to help. And then it's like, well, you know, if you help us on a bunch of things we're doing, then maybe at some point down the line, whenever that will be, we might help you. You know, there's no guarantee, but they might. Um, so that's how it is, you know. Just curious what uh, 
what you all would enjoy to see when it comes to like uh, uh, crowdfunding stuff, like what kind of like sort of uh, rewards or tiers or whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you donate a certain amount of money and then by the time the movie is finished and everything. Because um, I would also like to try and be able to pay people something, at least give them some sort of compensation for their time. You know, it isn't a lot. It's like, well, here's at least a few hundred bucks. You worked on a, on this for a couple days. Here you go. Uh, <clears throat> you know, and at least, you know, be able, maybe for some people, maybe you compensate them for gas if they wherever they live, maybe fairly far away. So at the very least, I want to do that. So that way everyone is fairly happy for the most part. Um, but I, uh, yeah, what kind of stuff would you want to see from a uh, campaign? Like a, a small indie movie? You know that would be fairly reasonable to do you know if i couldn't might do it myself be able to at least find some people locally might be able to help with some of that stuff um yeah just curious what you all uh, uh have in mind what you all think and i hope uh all of you are doing well sorry if this video is sort of all over the place. I'm a bit tired. Probably should have done the video right now, but I kind of thought, you know, I've been thinking about this for a while. I'm like, you know, I might as well just do it now. Just do it now and yeah, just have the question of what would you want to see if I was to ever uh, do a full-on sort of a campaign video to try and get people to seriously see about uh, donating to said uh, uh film you know uh i'd be curious to hear what you all have to say and uh with that i hope you're all uh doing well hope you're all having a great day and uh hope your week's been going well and i hope uh your the upcoming weekend uh will be great for you and i hope uh everybody is you know just doing well have a great night, day, whenever you see this. Take care.